Hi guys, it's Beauty by OK. What's up? Okay, so today I just wanted to share a couple of my favorites that I use for my face. A couple of things that I use every day, and a couple of things I just use when I want to be a little more glam. So I thought I'd start from the bottom up. So what I use to moisturize my face, and then what I go in with after step by step. So every day, um, usually I won't wash my face. In the morning, I'll do it at night. So in the morning, I just use my, I don't know if you can see, because it's kind of bright, but my um, uh, First Aid Beauty Vitamin Hydrating Mist. I spray this all over my face first, just to get a nice little moisture, a nice sheen coverage, not too much. After that, I'll go in with my Ultra Repair Cream which is amazing. I would suggest buying the um, bigger version just because this version, you don't need a lot, but just so you don't have to keep going back, I would get the bigger one. But this one's great. Um, intense hydration. I use it, even though I have combination skin, I like to use this one just because it takes care of both. So it's putting back what I'm losing and also hydrating what I don't have. After that, um, I go in with my foundation. I'm going to do another foundation video just so you see my favorites, what I like to use, what works for my skin, what doesn't. Um, my favorite concealers, um, what I use to contour, I usually use this right here. It is the Pro Conceal and Correcting Palette by MAC in the shade Dark. Um, as you can see, it's got some high usage. I only use... I'd say four out of the six. It's great. Um, usually, if you go into MAC, they say this palette is more for makeup artists that do weddings. Um, for my everyday look, I like to go for a really high glam. I like full coverage. So this palette works for me a lot just because it gives me what I need. The darkest shade in here, dark enough for my skin tone. And then I'll go in with a powder, which I'll talk about later. And I use it for my color correcting, so I use about five out of the six shades. There's like a mustard yellow shade in here I don't really use. But um, I use the orange for my color correcting just because I have some dark areas. I use the lightest shade for highlighting, of course, and then I'll mix two of the medium shades just to um, get my uh, brow, what is that called? You know, getting that all, yeah, that. Then, um, like I said, the dark shade. So this is a must for me, and I'm getting low, so I have to go buy it without. After that, um, what do I use? My eyeshadows. I have a couple palettes that I love. Of course, the Kate Von D, Kat Von D, Shade and Light Eye Palette. I really like that. It's got a lot of great neutral tones in it. One of my favorites, of course, is... Let's see if I can get this right. Right here is Lucius. <laughs> this one. It's one of my favorite. Um, let's see if you can see it. This one right here. I'll get it in there so you can see how it comes out. No, it's not going to let you see it. There it is. So that is one of my favorite. Um, I got my nail in one. One of my favorite um, transition colors, so I like to put that right into my crease, and then whatever look I'm going for, just shade it right in. My second one that I use mostly for maybe like an everyday look, along with that one, is my Naked 2 palette. It's my favorite Naked palette that they have out by Urban Decay. Um, I've Now because I've gotten other, other uh, eyeshadow palettes, I don't use this one as much as I used to. This is actually one of my first big buys, let's say from Sephora. I got this one and I thought I was dope because I had a Naked 2 palette and now I'm all like bougie and I'm like, I don't need Naked. Next, my Urban Decay, which is probably one of my favorite brands for eyeshadows. I love this one, love it. When it first came out and I worked at Sephora, not anymore, hopefully I'll be going back, but um, I was in, when we had our, like, meeting and they were telling us what we were getting, we found out we were getting this and I was really excited. And it is, of course, the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay Palette. Um, 
This one I use mostly on like special occasions just because a lot of the colors in this I have in other palettes. So like of course the ones you love the most you don't want to use because you don't want to have to keep buying it because I'm cheap. So this is one of my favorites. I love that palette. It has some great tones in it. You've got like your pop colors at the bottom. you got a nice blue and it's highly pigmented. This is a really good pigmented um, eyeshadow palette and that's something big that I look for when I go into eyeshadows because if it's not pigmented, especially on darker skin tones, it might not be worth the buy just because you're going to be using a lot more of the product. So you want to make sure if you're buying, especially spending good money on a palette that it is pigmented. Um, next thing of my favorites, I use this, I'm going to say this in my eyeshadow because a big thing that I like and you'll see more on my channel is that I like to buy things that I can use for multiple parts of my face. So a big, um, uh, example of that is this, I guess it's supposed to be a blush. Don't even ask because, okay, here's the thing. I will go into MAC or any makeup source, Sephora or MAC, and I'll pick something up because I like it, won't know what I'm using it for, and I'll pick what I want to use it for. So I'll buy a blush, and now it's my contour, and my eyeshadow, and maybe even it fills in my brows. I don't know. So I have this one. I think this one is blunt. Is this blunt? I can't even see anymore. Yes, it's blunt. And I use this, it has like a reddish tone, as you can see, I use it to deepen my crease, to give my crease a little bit more definition. So I use it right on, I'll um, set my contour with this, because like I said, I use the cream. A lot of the times I like wearing creams on my face, just because I do have combination skin, so it comes out just a little bit better. So I'll set with blunt, and then I put it into my crease just for a little bit more definition. One of my favorite things, top. Probably one of my tops, just so you know. Blunt by MAC. <laughs> um, after that, what I like, like I said, because I do like using a lot of creams, setting is a big deal because you will crease. And nobody likes a creasy bitch, okay? So, I use the Laura Mercier translucent powder, and I know you out here, you know everybody has this powder. And I was really skeptical just because it is really pricey. So it is something that if you're not, I don't know, um, it's worth it. Buy it. Don't be cheap. Just go get it. It's worth it. It's one of, like, it's a great setting powder. Like, there's a difference between you getting one from the dollar store and then you're going to get Larry Mercedes. You're going to get better quality. You can also get... Benai Banana Powder or Sasha um, Buttercup Powder. There's a lot of good ones, especially for darker skin. Don't use too much of this. I like to do a light coating and only on my highlight just because you can get an ashy um, leftover look with this and that can be a little unattractive. Nobody likes a Casper, especially an African American Casper because we don't know what that's supposed to look like. Anyway, this is one of my favorites. I love to set this. A lot a little goes a long way so you don't have to you're not using too much of it because it is pricey keep that in mind um next along with that one is my Mac fix plus this I use all the time I don't know why I do this I buy this little one all the time always buy this little one knowing I'm going to use it and use it and use it and I spray just right now just mm, mm. Look at that. I'm dewy. I ain't sweaty. I'm dewy. Yes. And I waste it. And then I have to go buy another one. Even though these are $10, just get the big one. Don't be me. Get the bigger one. Favorite. Next, let's move on to my favorite mascara. And it's by Benefit. I have a love-hate relationship with Benefit. My hate version of Benefit... I feel like it's not meant for a lot of darker tones, but they have some great other things, as in their mascara. Their mascara, the real, their real mascara, die, die. And I've tried a lot, especially working at Sephora, and everyone's asking you, 
oh, um, what's a good mascara? What about this one? What about this? So you don't want to be looking at them like, well, I never use it. So you use a lot. So this one never steered me wrong. I got a small one and I ended up really liking it. So I ended up buying the bigger one. It really does work. I've had a couple people ask, are these real? Of course, like, if you got, like, itsy bitsy teeny weeny eyelashes, it might not give you, like, claws coming off your eyes but it's good it's a great um not too clumpy I don't get any clumpage unless you're like you know a little dusty and you be using the same mascara and you don't wipe it off your eyelashes which girls please guys do take it off at night take it off because then when you're putting this on again it's gonna clump and it's gonna look nasty so make sure you're taking off your mascara mm. takes two seconds so that's my favorite then how do I get these brows, you ask? What are these? What are these fleeky things on my face? <laughs> they're probably not that fleeky. I've seen other fleekies, but you know, for Raven, <laughs> they're kind of fleeky. So anyway, <laughs> sorry guys. I use the Anastasia Brow Definer. Love it. I've used, I'd say two. Well, now I've used three of Anastasia's Brow Thing. I've used the Brow Wiz and the Dip Brow. Um, the dip brow was what I was using the most. I was in love with the brow was I kept using it, but I like the coverage and um, the definition the um, dip brow gave me, but it doesn't, it wasn't as natural as I would have liked it. I didn't have the right brush also, so if you're going to use a dip brow, there's nothing wrong with that. Just make sure you have the right shade and you're using a good brush. The Anastasia brush that goes with it, recommended. So... This definer, I was, this is another thing when we're working at Sephora, we all were waiting for because it just, of course you see um, other YouTubers, more successful than myself, that have these videos that already have them because they've gotten them promotionally and they were showing how they use them and they were coming out great and the brows looked way better. So this so far is the best brow I've gotten, especially using Anastasia and I only use her products on my brow, not saying that I have used other ones I haven't which I should probably start venturing watch out for that video too um so it comes like this very cool it's got a more narrow end so more definition um I'm not gonna say I'm a brow perfectionist I just fill it in whatever size I like that day sometimes I like I'm skinny I usually like a thick dark brow and then it comes with the spoolie at the end which really helps so you gotta you know make them look all nice so yeah Anastasia brow definer go get one and I use it in the shade ebony now this this beauty right here this is the Marc Jacobs eyeliner and gel eyeliner <sighs> pricey it was like 25 25 28 I don't know but it's worth it this is so pigmented and it does not move. Does not move. So good. I loved it. It's one of my favorites. Look at that. Look at. Pink. Goop. So good. So dark. I get so excited. Amazing. Um, anything by Marc Jacobs. Just pick it up. No, don't. Mm -mm, don't listen to me. Because I went in to get a Marc Jacobs foundation. Marc, let's talk about it. I'm not into the whole mixing foundations. If it's not my shade, I don't buy it. And we'll talk about that in my foundation shade. So look for that. Anyway, the Marc Jacobs Gel Liner, made for all shades. So love this. Go pick it up. Another eyeliner, back to benefit, is the Push Up Liner. They're real. Love it. I have it in black. And also, I got it in... You know, you can get gratis and stuff from Sephora and other makeup. You get free stuff sometimes. It's just for educational reasons. Don't think they're just like, hey, here's a... You're supposed to use it, learn how to use it, learn how to tell the customers about it. So we had a brown one. I'm not really into using, like, browns and stuff. I think the only other color I might use is, like, if I'm feeling fun, I'll use a green liner. It's called Shade by MAC. I know I have it somewhere, but that's another liner that I use. It's a pot, so... You have to have the brush for it 
But uh, the reason I love this eyeliner, let's get really, that's kind of dirty. Sorry. Um, it makes the wing for you. So it's literally almost like, you know, like an old quill. Look at this. Like, I'm going to put it here. Here. Just simple. Simple. And you just make the line how you want it. And then I used to do really big wings. I don't know what happened. I ran out of this and I never went back and got another one. So in between the time that I didn't have this and I got this one, I forgot how to do it and how to use it. And like my wings aren't flaky anymore. So now I get mad and I'll just like color it in real fast my Marc Jacobs because I'm sad and I know one day I'll sit here and like really practice again because like I was doing it every day so like two seconds I was like mm, wing bam boom flaky that was it now I don't have it anymore so that's it you know anyway on to my highlighters so <laughs> my favorite highlighter at the moment is from MAC this one is Global Glow. I don't know if you can... This light is just so bright. I'm starting out, so I'm still struggling, y'all. So this is a light bulb in my, in my phone. But this is my favorite, Global Glow. And I'll swatch it in between this. So you just... Look at that. Mmm. 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 So anyway, I just put it like right here. Up a little more. And I like to glow. This is my philosophy. You don't use highlighter to look basic. I said it. You don't use highlighter to look basic. You take your highlighter and you glow. You look like a light bulb. I like looking like a light bulb. I like being all sparkly when the light hits me. Because, like, what if your future husband's looking over and then he's like, mm, what that's that? That caught my eye. You're like, oh, that's my highlighter. And then, boom, you're married. Just saying mine <laughs> second one I have th th no I'm gonna say I only have two favorite highlighters at the moment global glow by Mac and this is I love him if you ever want to know who my favorite makeup artist is Angel Marino aka Mac daddy love him this is his from his line artist couture and this one is mermaid fantasy now before i swatch this for all you girls and you know what we all wanted to be at one point a mermaid i'm gonna tell you how angel marino figured out how to be a mermaid because he swatched this on snapchat one day and i just i lost it i lost it i was like this can't be real i didn't even know they made highlighters like this look at this can you see? I'm gonna put it right here. And just can you see? No, oh, it's just not coming up right. Anyway, it's like blue, and it like oh, oh, it's just it looks like this inside. I don't know if you can see. We we gotta find a way, cause y'all gotta see it. It's just if you don't see. Oh, back here. Uh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, you can't see it. Go buy it or go look it up and it shows like the swatches. So when you go on the Artist Couture um, website and you go for his highlighters, it'll show you like different swatches that he did. Love died. Died. Then I resurrected, used it, and died again. I'm just say Um, what's another favorite? So, for all my fashionistas, hi, if you didn't know, now you know, Zach Posen, that sexy little beast, did a collab with MAC. Only downsides, the three lipsticks that came with the line are very similar to lipsticks that MAC already has, so there might, like, he has an orange that's very similar to Lady Danger, which I already have. So I didn't want to get it. Then there's like a pink and a red, which they're very similar to shades that you could already have. 
Then the um, eyeshadow palette that it came with, it's like a little travel size kind of one. Wasn't crazy about it. There was a lot of things with the line that like of course you want to have it just to be like, mm -hmm, I got it. So I wanted something from the line. With the line he had a contour brush. Looks like this. It's very nice. The packaging was nice. I didn't even want to take it out. But I didn't have room for boxes and stuff in my room. So I got this. I didn't even look at the price. I was just like, can I have that? Next time I look at the price because I don't know how. I went in for a free eyeshadow and had to pay $75. But I got this and it's really so soft. So soft. So I guess if you want to look like, you know, just mm, dark in it, give me some cheekbone. Thanks, Zach Posen. Favorite contouring brush at the moment, Zach Posen. Just like, pick it up. It's a limited edition. Just say you got it, you know? Represent Zach Posen. Okay. Anyway, thank you. I know this video is kind of long. Thank you for watching. That is a couple of my favorites. Um, if you have any questions, comment, like, subscribe. Um, hopefully, right now, just because I'm starting out, I'll have a lot more videos posted way faster. Then, once I have a couple of videos, every Thursday, I will be posting a video. Just because I have time now, I might post another one. Who knows? Keep you on your toes. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I come flooding in front of Valentine's, can never stop.